ladies and gentlemen, Danny Kaye and Katerina Valenti. Symphony by Mozart, delicate and sweet, like a little bit of AC with a swinging beat. confess that I hear music when you touch my hand. When you touch my hand, I hear beautiful rhapsodies from, from Enchanted Land. The music is sweet, the words are true. The song is you. The song is you. No, no, it's you. No, that's not true. The song is you. We could make such doody doody doo. desire. Father Nigel, my love, is the of my love. what a glorious night. Come on and hear, come on and hear, Alexander's right time back. Come meet the man. Jim 
It is now the 1930s, the period of the Great Depression. How have our three graduates, Mary Jane, Walter, and Leonard, fared during these hard times? Well, let us see. here. Two dollars a week and all the mustard I can eat. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm on my lunch break now. Meet me under meatloaf. Under meatloaf? Meatloaf. Okay. Meat. Lenny. Oh, careful. Oh, you just got to put it over there. Oh, Lenny. Oh, Lenny. After all these years, it, it must be ten years. Ten years. And he still looks swell. How does he keep his skin so fresh and young looking? How have things been going for you? Well, I'm eating the nickel lunch at the Automat. Does that tell you anything? Look. Oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Things have been pretty rough for me, too. Say, say, I, I wonder whatever became of, of Walter Murray. Yeah. Oh, he was a shrewd apple. Yeah, I remember him. He had it up here. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'll bet you the depression didn't affect him. No. Oh, no. It's probably a big shot someplace. Rich, famous. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny excuse me. Look, look at that man standing over there, Lenny. No, it can't be. But wait, that intelligent attitude, the way he stands. It must be, it must be Walter Murray. I told you he was in the chips. Hey, Walter, turn Walter, around, it's us. Hey, Walter big Murray. shot. <laughs> But if it isn't Mary, it's not a Jerry Mary Mary. If it isn't Mary Jerry, it's not a Lenny Mary. Oh, Walter, Walter, from the back, you look like a millionaire, but from the front, what happened to you? I fall on my face a lot. <laughs> look at me, he's ruined. Here, put him in the chair right here. There, Walter. Quick, get some coffee. Coffee. Walter, Walter, Walter. How could you do this to yourself? What's oh. gotten into you? About a gallon a day. <laughs> Walter, I don't understand. You used to be the biggest brain in school. You were going to be a great lawyer. That's right. I said it was a great lawyer. What? I, hmm? I didn't understand. I said I was going to be a great lawyer. I almost made it, but then I, I was ruined by my first case. What happened? I drank it. <laughs> Here, coffee. Yes. coffee. Coffee. Look at him, look at him, Mary Jane. We've got to help him. How? We've got to help him. I don't know how, but we've got to help him. I, I don't need any help from anybody. I happen to be independently loaded. <laughs> no, you don't. This is serious, Mary Jane. Walter doesn't realize that he's a hopeless drunk. I'll drink to that, yes, sir. Oh, no. Lenny, you're right. He doesn't realize what he what he looks like in this condition. Then it's up to us to show him what a drunk looks like. Well, how? He's the only drunk here. Then we have got to get drunk to show him how disgusting it is. Do you understand? Do you understand, Walter? Yes, I so. Walter! Who greased my chair? <laughs> Sit up now, come on. You drink this coffee right you now. You drink the coffee? And you watch us. We're gonna show you what drink can do to a beautiful human being. Yes. Bottoms up. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm, that's good. <laughs> This time we drink to Porky Pig. <laughs> a great actor and a terrific Sunday dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I would like you, buddy. <laughs> a little toast to us. Here's a toast for Mapleton You. Yeah, Mapleton You. 
Maples and you, you gave me brains and you gave me authority. But when I really began to learn is when I joined a sorority. <laughs> I've had so much coffee, I'm beginning to sober up. And I'm a better man for it, yeah. I must say. And now you see what a drunk looks like, Walter. Take a look. Do you see how terrible it is? I certainly do. <laughs> Officer, arrest these disgusting drunks, please. All right, you two, come along quietly. Walter, Walter, we did it for you. Oh, come on now, you two. Where's the old spunk? Don't be blue. Be like I, hold your head up high. Hey, you have a beautiful voice. Yes, I do. I think I'll go on radio and become a big star. And then I'll find my bluebird of happiness. In the 30s, motion pictures were the favorite thing to see. What a happy holiday the movies used to be. Huh? Oh, a playtime. A gay time. Why, you would think that every day was May. Now, the country felt depression and the wage was very low. But that was something motion pictures didn't seem to know. In the 30s, the 30s, that singing, dancing fantasy, the 30s, the only thing that seemed to keep the country in shape was a musical commodity they labeled a state. Hey, Katrinka, did you ever see Al Jolson in the movies? You mean the jazz singer? Oh, when well, he used to get down on his knee and sang, it broke my heart. <laughs> it did. Yeah? Yeah. You want to know? Who broke my heart? I want to know who broke your heart. Well, when little Shirley Temple, yeah. with her cute little golden curls, yes. would flex her dimples yes. and sing. When I grow old in a year or two, I'll buy a chocolate candy store with a peppermint dog and a licorice bear. Then have a sticky love. Shirley Temple was everybody's favorite. Oh, not everybody. Really? No, there were those who were looking for romance. Oh, yeah. For those, there was always Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald, and oh, boy, oh. they used to really suffer, Suff didn't they? <laughs> Brave Nelson and plucky Jeanette. They would spend the whole movie looking for each other. <laughs> Shirley Temple, 
Nelson Eddy, Jeanette McDonald, all the movie musicals had one thing in common. The biggest, most spectacular ending you ever saw in right. your life. Yes. Gold figures working in it up and having a wonderful day. Oh, the gold diggers were living it up on the gay white way. Hey, Broadway. For only a dime The 30s were a wonder Yes, the 30s were wonderful Ooh, yeah. Living in the 30s was a wonder The 1940s. Our old friends Mary Jane and Leonard have gotten married. They're still poor and are waiting eagerly for the arrival of their old friend Walter Murray, who has become a rich and famous crooner. Listening to the golden voice of America's best loved prince of song, Walter Murray. Oh, Leonard. Leonard, I can hardly believe it. Walter Murray, coming to our house after all these years. Yeah, just think, last time we saw him, what was it, 10 years ago? He was just a disillusioned uh, human being. He was a tormented, sensitive soul trying to find his way. He was a forlorn, despairing child of our time. He was a bum, that's what he was. <laughs> Today he's the star of his own radio show, Walter Murray and his musical marshmallows. He's the richest crooner on the radio. Oh, gosh, Mary Jane, do you think he'll lend us the money we need? Of course he will. Just explain to him that you've been out of work for two years. Yeah, and I couldn't go out to look for work. The finance company took away my pants. Of course. Well, give me that cup of coffee. Certainly, dear. <laughs> The only thing that worries me is that Walter Winchell says he's cheap. Oh, no, no. No, no, Walter could never refuse an old fraternity, brother. See, that's right. Sire Mega moves to the end. Right. If he doth hath and I hath not, let me have half of what he has got. <laughs> hey, that's him. There he is. Oh, good old Walter. I bet your success hasn't changed him a bit. No. I bet you he's still just plain folks. All right. Oh, Walter, come in. <laughs> I hope everybody will be like I hold your head up a high. Oh, dear children, dear, dear Leonard, and dear, dear Mary Jane. Oh, rich, rich Walter. <laughs> Walter, you look great. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sit down, my children. Oh, thank you. Fate has been very kind to Walter Murray. When last we met, I was a young man with no direction, no aim, no experience. And then fate stepped in. A rich uncle died and left me his voice. <laughs> and overnight, I became the most beloved person who ever lived. And with that came an awesome responsibility to bring beauty, gaiety, and romance into the lives of colorless drab, dull with it people like yourself. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Walter. That means a lot coming from you. Uh, Walter, Walter, it's a lucky thing you came. You see, we're in desperate trouble. We, we need money. Money? Oh, ah, 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 ah. Money? Is that all you need? Money? Oh, yes, oh, oh. yes, you see, we need a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, my children, here. 
Have yourself a thousand dollars. Oh. There you are. Have oh. five thousand, oh. ten thousand, twenty. Oh. Will that bring you happiness? Oh, yes, what are you? No, yes. that's where you're wrong. <laughs> Money will only make you unhappy. But who am I to say you're wrong? Oh, thanks a lot, Walter. Thank you. We thank you with all our hearts. Tonight you thank me. <laughs> oh, no, I can't let you do this to your side. Money is the root of all evil. Possessions only make you live beyond your means. But, well, Walter, we don't have any possessions. Don't have any possessions? What do you call this? Well, a cup? But how can a cup ruin us? Ah, this cup is only the beginning. For what is a cup without a dish? And what is a dish without a table? And what is a table without a floor? And what is a floor without a house? And what is a house without a garden? And what is a garden without a party? And what is a garden party without the Duke of Windsor? The Duke of Windsor is coming here and I don't have any pants? <laughs> Honey, we've got to get rid of this stuff. Oh! That's, that's it. Don't be a slave to possession. Oh, no, Walter, 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 you're right. Yes, that lamp, right, that yes. lamp. We've been paying for this lamp for two years. Look, I'm going to... Give yourself, my children. Don't be a slave to time. That clock is the clock. Give yourself a more Yes, yes. Thank you all. you have done for us. Not at all. It's my way. And so, ta-ta, everybody, until we meet again. This is Walter Murray with a musical farewell. I be like I on your head. I can't get out of here now. I ain't gonna find
don't know how it's possible, but you're greater than you ever were. Well, thank I, you. I really mean that. Thank it's you. just incredible what you do with that thing. It's lovely dinner music, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for, people to, for people to shake a lot, too, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we were listening to some record. Do you remember a thing you did? I, I don't know how long ago it was. It did with Lionel Hampton. There was a, a thing where you had a, a lick that went in three parts. Remember we tried to sing it yes. today? Do you know which record that was? How'd it go a little bit? What a memory this guy's got. You mean uh, High Sophia? That's the one. Uh, it started with what? And you sing. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, except you, not yet, not yet. You used to do it. And considerably faster than that, as I remember. One, two, three, four. Now the class of 22 conclusion. It is now 1965. Here we are back at the old alma mater. Yes, Leonard. I wonder if any of the old crowd will show up. Hmm? Say, isn't, isn't that Walter Murray coming this way? Oh, well, yes, yes, I think it is. <laughs> Hello there, old kid. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Walter. Hey, don't you recognize us? Why, sure I do. Leonard. Uh, Fred. Oh, no, no, that's Fred, Walter. George? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, Walter, it's Leonard and Mary Jane. Who am I kidding? Ah. Ah, yeah, well, for heaven's sake, if it isn't Leonard and Mary mm -hmm. Jane, how have you folks been? Oh, just fine, how just you? fine. Mm -hmm. Sit down, my dear. Sit down, Walter. Oh, you know, it's hard to believe that we've been out of college almost... Yeah. 50 years. Yes. We've had a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> Don't you sometimes wonder if you could go through it all again? Well, I think it's all been worth it. I've enjoyed my life, every minute of it. Yes, but we've seen it all. <laughs> Nothing to look forward to. No, I'm not so sure, Leonard. Look, maybe the way to look forward is through the eyes of young people. Mm. Betty, Hank, we made it. Oh, yeah. We finally graduated. What are you going to do, Betty? Well, I've got this application to the Peace you got Corps. plans yourself? Yeah, sure. what you... Yes, I guess that's what I meant. When you're young, everything's within reach. Yes. And even if you don't reach it, it's fun trying. Yeah, you know, you're right. That's the way we felt when we graduated 50 years ago. Uh, Remember? Yes. We sing the praise of Mapleton you each heart is filled with loyalty and for our school we'll do or we'll die and reach a goal of
something. You're ridiculous the way you do all these things. Yeah, you know, if, if, if I had to choose one of the most exciting sounds that came out of the 1960s, I think it would have to be the bossa nova. I Wouldn't think so you? too, yes. In fact, she was telling me a story about a little boy. She has a little boy who has blonde hair and blue eyes. And how old is he now? Seven. His name is? Eric. Eric, yes. Now, most kids like their mother to tell them bedtime stories. Not her boy. He, uh, does he know you're a nut? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when he goes to sleep, he wants you to sing him a bossa nova. So we got to talking about it, and we thought that maybe what we'd like to do is to do a bossa nova for the kindergarten set. Well, well yeah. We call it a, a mother goose nova. <laughs> Set of nursery rhymes. 
past Up to date for modern times We thought the Latin beads would tantalize you But if you do not like this little song Or if you feel there's something wrong There is only one thing we'd advise you Blame it on the bus and over With its magic spell Blame it on the bus and over That we love so well The kids will think that Mother Goose is such a treat When you lullaby your baby with a beat Talking Mother Bossa Nova That's the dance of love, love, love Bossa Nova, 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 love, love, love Everybody with me when I give you the cue. That's fine. <laughs> Sammy? Now, the last 50 years were the hardest, or so people say. And the next 50 years may even be harder. But we will find the way. Cause we're gonna make it. I know that we are. Why should we stop now? We've gotten this far. If I may offer this word from a friend, don't ever pretend this world's gonna end. Back in the 20s, it looked pretty bad. Flappers in Charleston, the world going mad. Then came the 30s and we were depressed. You know how we danced and you saw how we dressed. Then in the 40s, it really got grim. Civilization was out on a limb. But we kept on singing and look, we got through. So we're gonna make it. Yes, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. It's true. So sing all the new songs and take every chance. Learn the what to see. It's only a dance. The eve of destruction is nowhere in sight. So we're gonna make it. Cause we're gonna make it. Yes, we wanna make it. Cause we've gotta make it. Yes, we Thanks tonight to Katerina Valenti, Benny Goodman, Harvey Corman, and Joyce Van Patten. And a big thank you to Mr. Gordon Hale of Fort Smith, Arkansas, for sending me a copy of his book. And um, I must say, it's, it's a marvelous book. It's called How to Raise Cobras in Your Basement. <laughs> so, well, it's true. And this book, you won't believe it, has saved me a lot of money. Nobody's gone down to read my gas meter for six months. <laughs> Good night.